So here's a wild thought I had at 2 a.m. last night. What if I could clone this app right here? An AI image generator app that is making well over $1 million per month with 300,000 downloads and 75,000 reviews, all in under 30 minutes. Sounds impossible, right? Well, stick around because you're going to watch it happen live. Hi there, I'm Astro and today in this video, I'm going to show you how I recreated or cloned one of the highest earning AI image generator apps on the App Store using nothing but my idea, my laptop and a powerful AI builder, Rocket.new. Now, I have used Rocket.new in the past and trust me, it was already good. But recently, they introduced some new crazy features like the slash commands, scoped context editing and instant multi-platform builds that make building full web apps and real app feel almost unreal. And not just that, you can build both iOS and Android apps at the exact same time. No separate code bases, no extra setup, just build. So enough talking and today in this video, I'm going to show you how I used Rocket.new to recreate this million dollar app in under 30 minutes. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is the app that I've been talking about, like the AI image generator app, which is making well over $1 million per month and has over 300,000 downloads already. And to build our clone, we're going to use a platform called as Rocket.new and I have created multiple videos creating various apps and websites using Rocket.new and if you want to watch that, I'll make sure to leave links in the description below. And if you want to build any sort of web app or mobile app instantly and that too from your web browser, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to Rocket.new and sign up for a new account. And as you can see, it says think it, type it and launch it. And the interesting thing about Rocket.new is that it not only allows you to build web apps but also mobile apps. So as you can see, you can build iOS and Android apps based on Flutter, HTML, Next.js and React based web apps. And not just that, they have integrations with GitHub, Superbase, Figma, Netlify, Stripe, OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, you name it. They have a lot of integrations and you can incorporate all these services into your app in just a single click. And as I mentioned earlier, we are planning to build a AI powered image generator. So I'll start by giving a prompt something like this. And it says, build an AI powered image generator mobile app where users can enter a prompt and instantly generate high quality images. And they also mentioned that use the Gemini 2.5 flash nano banana API for image editing. So this right here is like a simple and basic prompt I'll begin with. And now all I have to do is to click on this send button right here. So there you go. It says, I'll build your AI image generated mobile app using Flutter and the app will initially be front-end only. After creation, you can integrate Gemini for AI image generation features. Okay, sounds good. Now it says select the screens you wish to build from the list below and token consumption is directly related. Okay, I can select the home screen, prompt input, image generation, editor screen. Maybe not, let's see. Uh, let's do gallery screen, profile screen, or maybe let's just keep image editor screen as well. And I can click on the build button. And there you go. It says seven screens selected and it also says working on your request. So as you can see, Rocket has already started writing the code and it is in progress. And if I move to the preview tab, it says I'll take 10, 20 to 25 minutes to build as per your request. So it will take some time for the AI to build the initial version of the app. So I'll wait for some time and I'll see you afterwards. All right. So there you go. It took about nine minutes and here we have the initial version of the app ready. So there you go. And towards the top, so this right here is our splash screen. So it says AI image generator. Here we have like a loading screen. And this right here is our main home page. And towards the top, it says create amazing images, transform your ideas into stunning visuals with AI. So here we have like a couple of trending prompts. Okay, so that's interesting. We can also find the recent generated images in there as well. And if I click on the start creating button, it takes me to the page where I can enter the prompt. We even have a mic input. Does that work? Create an image of a lion. Okay, that's interesting. The mic is actually functional. And after I gave, I mean, after I clicked on this mic button and I spoke something, and as you can see, the same is filled in this input box right here. And again, this right here is the overall UI of the app for the time being. So yeah, it opens up the create image page. Then here we have like a gallery page. And if I go to settings, so this right here is like the settings page. 
we have like way too much options in here as well and right now this app is not fully functional so we only have like the front end ready and again we also have like an alignment issue that we need to fix i'll show you how to fix that later but first let's go ahead and make this app truly functional and for that we need to integrate gemini api and as you can see rocket itself is asking us what would you like me to do next and here we have an option that says integrate gemini and again initially i mentioned that Rocket has direct integrations with a lot of third-party tools and Gemini is one of them. So towards the top, if I click on this option that says integrations, I'll be able to find all services that I can integrate to in just a single click. So we have Superbase, Recent, Stripe, Perplexity, Anthropic and here we have Gemini. And if I click on the same, it is asking me to input my Gemini API key. So I need to get that. So first of all, I'll straight away head over to Google AI Studio and after that, click on Get API Key. And now, okay, I'll create a new API key. Let's give it AI image gen. It's AI image gen. I'll select a project and click on create key. All right, so here we have the key. I'll just copy the API key, head back to Rocket and paste it in here. Click on save. And that's pretty much all I have to do. And as you can see, as soon as I entered my API key in here, it the status automatically changed to do connected to Gemini and now the AI will do the needful or we can go ahead and explicitly give a prompt asking the AI to implement the backend part like now that we have the API setup complete we can go ahead and give a prompt in which case let's wait for this first now I will give a prompt something like this I have connected and added my Gemini API key so can you please make the app truly functional by incorporating the image generation feature such that all the features of our app work okay and now i'll click on send so basically we now only have the front end of the app ready and now that we have connected the gemini api key the back end should be ready so i just gave a prompt asking the ai to build the back end and now it says i'll make your ai image generator app fully functional by implementing the actual image generation capabilities using your connected gemini api this will activate all the features in your flutter app and that is exactly what i want and it will take a couple of minutes so i'll sit back and wait and i'll see you afterwards so there you go after a bit of back and forth we now have the image generation functionality added so initially i gave a prompt and then i tried to generate an image and i was getting some errors so i just asked the ai to fix it and here we now have the working version of the app ready and again i can click on this start creating button right here and it takes me to a page where I can enter a prompt. And now just for demonstration purpose, I'll give a prompt something like, let's say, a small, cute puppy playing with a ball. Okay, so this is the prompt I'll give. I can keep all the settings as it is. And as soon as I click on this generate image option, it takes me to this image generation page. And we can find a progress in here. And there you go. Here we have the image ready. So it says generated image and we have the option to pinch to zoom. Okay, that's actually cool. And we also have the option to save the image as well. So if I click on the save button, it instantly downloads the JPG image. And there you go. Here we have the generated image downloaded to our computer. So just like that, the core functionality of our app is working. And for starters, this right here is the interface of rocket.new. And towards the left side, this is where you interact with the AI and you have the input box to give prompt and you can find all the AI responses in here. And you can also find all the files to which the AI has made changes by referring to this file section right here. And you can find a real preview of the app towards the right side in here. And again, if you want to, you can switch it to a different device, for example, Samsung Galaxy or iPhone. And if you want to, you can refresh it. And if you straight away want to jump to a particular page within your app, well, you can click on this drop down menu towards the top and you'll be able to find all these pages within your app. For example, let's say I want to straight up jump to the splash screen. Well, I can select the same. And there you go. We, here we have the splash screen and this is the logo and this is the AI image generated text. And if I move to the code tab right here, I'll be able to find all the code responsible for the app so I can view it. If I want to, I can even make edits. I can download it and I can even push this to a GitHub repo as well. So we have all that options in there. I know two more interesting features of rocket.new in the latest build is that you can now use the add the symbol or slash symbol to unlock extra features. For example, let's say I want to make some targeted edits. For example, as you can see, the alignment of this start creating button is not really looking that good, right? So we want to add some padding after the you know start creating button 
well now all i have to do is to put the at the right symbol and after that i can select all the files i can let's say uh, highlight and select a particular file so that i can actually make context scoped editing for example in this case this right here is our apps home page and for example if i go to the uh, code and if i let's say open the lib folder presentation so this right here is the home screen right and here we have the home screen component and yeah okay so there you go here we have the home screen and here we also have the hero section okay so you can find the code for the hero section in here and this right here is the hero component and this is the component to which we want to make changes well all i have to do is to put the at the right simple and now i can search for that particular component that is hero section widget dot dart and now as soon as i click on the same the same is added to the context and now if you want to you can even let's say capture a screenshot and then add the same to the context of the ai and you can give a prompt so as you can see from the screenshot the start creating button is touching the edge of the like the bottom edge of this hero container and it doesn't look good so can you please add some padding towards the bottom of the button to make it good look nice and there you go and i'll click on the send button so basically i want to add a bit of a padding in here and in a similar fashion you can go ahead and select any particular file for example let's say you want to make any targeted edits all you have to do is to put the at the right symbol select the file or folder and then you can give a prompt and the ai will have an easy time understanding exactly what you're referring to and also easily understand the file that it has to make changes to so that's also one more new feature within rocket.new there you go as you can see the same is now fixed and here we now have the gap between the edge of the container and this button so in a similar fashion if you want to you can make any sort of changes and next up another interesting feature is that if you type slash you'll be able to find a bunch of options in here for example here we have update app logo here we have update app name generate image update content or remove element now if you want to make any changes to your app well you can just type this slash and you can just go ahead and make any changes so in this case let's just say i want to update the app logo well in that case i can select the first option in here and then i can click on this paper clip icon right here and let's say upload the image so i'll quickly go ahead and find an image so i'll just open flaticon.com real quick and then i can maybe search for ai and i'll quickly go ahead and download an image for example i like this one so I'll click on PNG, download the same. All right, so there you go. And I'll drag and drop it in here. And now I simply typed slash simple, selected the option to update the app logo. I added the logo in here. And now all I have to do is to click on the send button. And now the AI will do its thing. So let's wait for it. So there you go. The logo is now updated. And I also asked the AI to include the same logo in the hero section. And I can find it in here. And if I open the splash screen, okay there you go here we have the updated logo as well in a similar fashion you can go ahead and put the slash simple and make pretty much any changes to your existing app for example let's say you want to update the content for example you want to change the title the button text or this description right here well you can select the update content option give a prompt and you can just get going and by now we have our app working and pretty much everything is working right and next up rocket.new not only allows you to create the app but also package it as an apk file so that you can download and use it on your android device and yes you heard it correct so towards the top right you will find a button that says launch and if i click on the same i'll find two options that is launch on web and install on phone and if you want to launch it on the web well you can click on the first option and click on this launch button and connect with your netlify account and uh, like make it public but if you click on the second option that says install on phone it will give you an option that says build and download your apk to test on an android device or emulator and if i click on this build button the build process will now start and as you can see it is in progress and once it's completed you will get the apk file that you can download and you know sort of install it right within your device so that's how cool it is so let's wait for it so there you go it says your apk is built successfully and i also find the download button and if i click on this download button it will instantly download the .apk file to my computer so there you go as you can see it is downloading the apk file and the size is around 57 mb and if you have an android phone you can transfer this apk into your android device and install it but right now i don't have access to an android device so i can't actually show you that but there you go here we have the apk file and now this is how simple it is to use rocket.new to create mobile apps for android and ios since it is using flutter you can create apps for both android and ios and the new feature also allow you to download the apk file 
like how cool is it right and again if you do want to create mobile apps for your next project all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to rocket.new sign up for a new account and you can instantly start using the same so just like that we cloned an app like the core functionality of the app that is making well over 1 million dollars per month and has over 300,000 downloads on the app store and that's how simple it is and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one